Hi, this is Aaron and Linda with Traveling Flamingo, and today we're at Royal Caribbean's private island, Coco Cay. The island was renovated in 2019 and is known as the perfect day at Coco Cay. We're going to tell you everything that is free so you can plan your perfect day at Coco Cay. All that and more coming right up. Let's start with my priority, food. It is great that there are five food locations that are all included where you can get a meal or a snack. There are two main dining venues, which are Skipper's Grill and Chill Grill. Both locations are buffets and offer a variety of food, including tacos, burgers, sandwiches, fruit, cookies, ice cream, and more. We dined at Skipper's Grill while we were at Coco Cay. It overlooks the Harbor Beach and has a nautical theme. We really enjoyed the views and were able to get a seat right at the edge of the water. We also ate a little later in the day, so it was nice and quiet. Chill Grill is located on Chill Island, so if you're spending the day at the beach, this would be a nice close location. There are three snack shacks throughout the island, including one in the water park. And here you can have burgers, chicken burgers, and Aaron's favorite mozzarella sticks. Just a side note that the water park is not included and this is the only food option in that area. I was really impressed with the type and quality of food at the snack shack. I would actually say it was less of a snack shack and more of like a grab and go style restaurant. Some of the other food they had at the snack shack were grilled vegetables and funnel cake. You know we had to try the funnel cake. Just a couple tips in terms of the food. If you're getting off the ship as soon as you are allowed to, the food won't be open yet. And they do close a couple hours before disembarking and before you have to get back on the ship to pack up. So just double check the timing and be sure that you don't miss out. Before we ta start talking about the drinks and entertainment that are included, I just wanted to pop in here and thank everyone who has liked and subscribed to our channel. We are getting close to the 10,000 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for us, and we really appreciate everybody who has subscribed and liked so far. We have tons of videos, including the Royal Caribbean, what's included in the price, and Celebrity Ship Tour. So when this video is done, make sure you check out our channel. Thank you. Also, again, from myself, thank you for those who have subscribed. We're getting to 10,000, which is something we never thought we would ever see. We're going to move on to drinks. Something that I was really surprised and impressed with is how much Royal Caribbean included on their island. We've been to other cruise lines, private islands, where you, can, where you have to pay for the food and drink. If you purchase a drink package on the cruise, then you can use your package on the island, which is a great, 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 great thing. And this includes all the restaurants and bars. If you ordered the pop package, you don't need to bring the cup. You can use your cruise card. If you didn't get the drinks package, at all the dining and snack locations, there are some juices and water included. I just wish I had brought my water bottle so I could have a full cup of water because it gets really hot there on the beach. It's so hot and you really need to make sure that you are staying hydrated. I have had a heat stroke multiple times. Uh, I'm sure Linda's uh, rolling her eyes. There's a lot of bars though throughout the island, including swim up bars in the Oasis Lagoon and my favorite swim up bar in the Breeze Bay at Chill Island. The next category we're looking at is entertainment. For your perfect day at Coco Cay, there are a lot of activities for kids and adults that are included. A lot of the more extreme activities do cost a little extra like the zip line and hot air balloon. So let's focus on what's included for the kids. One of the first activities you come to when you get off the ship is Captain Jill's Galleon. This is a fun interactive pirate ship for kids to explore water slides, water canyons, and other water fun. The next area specific for kids is Splash Away Bay. This is right between the water park and Skipper's Grill. This is a small water park with some water slides, fountains, pools, and a drench bucket, which is always hilarious and fun. This is definitely a popular area for kids and worth checking out. There is one large main pool on the island called Oasis Lagoon. This is the Caribbean's largest freshwater pool, so if you aren't interested in salt water in the beach, this is where you're, you will want to go. At one side, there's a gradual entry. There is a shallow area for sun tanning with loungers and seats. And around the, around the edge, you can have some ledges to sit on and relax. There are a couple beaches on the island as well that are free and open for everyone. Chill Island, Harbor Beach, and Breezy Bay at Chill Island, as well as South Beach. 
All the beaches, they have chairs and umbrellas that are included, so you don't have to pay extra to book those. If you're arriving a little later in the day, you'll probably want to head right to South Beach as it's usually a little bit quieter, but it can still get busy, especially if there are two cruise ships there. Also included are beach games and sports. They do have some organized activities during the day, so you can head over and play with them or play on your own time. We've also seen videos of the massive soccer pool game before, but uh, this was the first time we saw it in person and got to play it, and it was a lot of fun. You also can't go wrong with some cornhole. There's volleyball, basketball, tennis, and other games. So you you can definitely stay active if that's what you want to be doing. It was interesting to see all the different activities that exist on the island. Linda, who's a big fan of football, a.k.a. soccer, really enjoyed that large pool table. Our last category we're calling miscellaneous. It's a variety of things on the island that are available at no extra charge. There's a great tram service that takes you most of the way around the island. That is included. There's also lots of trams, so we figured there wasn't going to be a long wait, and there really wasn't. It only takes about 10 minutes to walk to all corners of the island, but it is providing that you know where you're going and don't get distracted. And during the summer, it can be pretty hot. We also get asked a lot about lockers. Their lockers are included, and there's a set available on the beach near the rental pavilions and a set in the water park. We recommend picking a place to set up camp for the day with a couple of chairs and then get your lockers near there. There are a lot of washrooms throughout the island with fresh water, showers, and there are some change rooms. If you're planning to spend the full day, it's nice to be able to rinse the salt water off before meals and heading back to the ship at the end of the day. There's also the beach access for wheelchairs, so if you need those, be sure to ask. We also mentioned earlier all the beach chairs and umbrellas are available for guests to use without extra charge. We enjoyed jumping from area to area, we enjoyed the freshwater pools, but we really liked the harbor beach, and our cruise ship was the only one there, so we were very lucky to find chairs and umbrellas at each spot. Similar to the beverage package, Coco K now has Wi-Fi, and if you purchase the Wi-Fi package, you can now use that on the island. You may or may not want to be connected to others, but if you do, you can definitely do it. This is great for guests who want to stay in touch with family, work, and social media. I don't know how much you want to stay in contact at work and all the other wonderful things that we use Wi-Fi for. So overall, we were really impressed with how much was included at our perfect day at Coco K. There are lots of places to get food and they are all included. It was nice. It was easy to go to. They also had water and juices. So if you didn't have a beverage package, you didn't have to worry about that. And if you did get a beverage package, you could just enjoy the island however you wanted. The island is also so big, there are lots of different beaches, activities, and the massive pool to check out. So you don't really have to spend an extra penny if you don't want to. Yeah, there's a lot of free stuff that you can do here. And there's also things you can do here that only cost a little bit of money. And I know that's surprising because the Thrill Water Park can be very expensive. Uh, But you can, you know, like if you don't have a, a beverage package, you can get drinks a la carte. They actually have a Heineken beer tap that you just tap your cruise card at. Now, I'm sure it's going to be more expensive because you don't have a package, but if you just want a beer or two, you can absolutely just grab one and just do it a la carte. They also have, uh, you know, like swimming goggles and so forth that you can rent. Uh, And so there's little things that that aren't that expensive that you can add to your vacation as well. Uh, A lot of these excursions can be very expensive here. Uh, So, you know, if if you're not interested in that or you don't want to buy one of those, you know, $1,200 cabanas, uh, these are some great things that you can do. And there's also things that you can just add a little bit on, but still create an impact for your vacation. It really was a great island. They've done an amazing job. Probably one of the favorite private islands that we've been to so far. However, we've not been to Disney, so Disney will be coming up soon. So do uh, subscribe and like our channel. Uh, We will tell you the differences between these two islands. Also, I might recommend getting some water shoes. The beach is very soft, but it can get very hot, especially if you're there in the winter. Uh, We do have links to some of the ones that we use below. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and and, uh, click on one of the links. If you're not, don't worry about it. Yeah, Aaron, I agree. It is definitely my favorite included island from the cruise lines that we have tried yet. But as you said, Disney's coming up, so we'll see what we think about that. So let us know in the comments below, have you ever visited Perfect Day at Coco Cay? What was your favorite thing that was included? Is there something that wasn't included that you think they should include? 
Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate all of your support. It does mean a lot to us. We appreciate having our channel grow with your support and look forward to bringing you some more cruising tips in the future. Thanks again for watching and happy travels.